In a town hall meeting in Cleveland, Ohio this afternoon, the president responds to critics who don't want to tax the wealthiest Americans to pay for universal coverage. Illinois Congressman Peter Roskam speaks to us by satellite. I think the country basically has woken up to the speed with which this administration is spending money. Remember, we were told that the stimulus package, the package was going to be essentially the be-all, end-all, and do-all, and it was going to transform the economy and really eclipse things. So while the president is focused and anxious to fulfill a campaign promise, this fight over health care is not just with Republicans who are wary, but even some members of his own party are reluctant to move quickly. I mean, he had an unbelievable honeymoon, I think, and part of that was in part due to the president's own making of creating very high expectations. He sold the public on the ability to do a whole host of things, not the least of which was to get the economy to rebound very, very quickly. And I think the public is growing skeptical. The president, however, isn't giving up. Our target date is to get this done by the fall. That's the bottom line. But keep in mind that even if we got it done in the fall, most of these changes would be phased in over several years. So will health care be a part of tonight's remarks? Very likely. There will be some sports stars here among the 700 or so that are heading here to the Hyatt. And I guess they've got a lot to cheer about in Chicago tonight with the White Sox perfect game by Mark Burley. Reporting live, Marianne Ahern, NBC5 News.